Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got some completion reviews to show you today uh, and these are all from uh, the good people at Fan Cells and they are all part of PR packages that have been sent. So yeah, I thought I'd better get some done because we are still smashing the specials, it is still August and yeah, I can't believe how fast August is going through though. Um, I think I'm up to about 15 or 16 projects that I've completed and I did say I was aiming for 15 to 20 but you never know I might get more than that done I might actually yeah uh, well I don't know whether I'll get 31 done in 31 days but we'll see never say never okay so we'll have a quick look at these we've got a little gnome to make up because uh, obviously this is just the one half that you drill and then these these and these and the gnome do all need to be um sealed but i will do that on another video oh but it has got cooler in the uk yay uh we actually felt cool last night not cold just cool and there was a bit of a cool breeze and it was just absolutely wonderful so yeah i will get that sealing done possibly yeah uh, i'll get that done tomorrow because hubby's got friends coming tomorrow afternoon so fingers crossed i'll get that done but i just thought as i say you might like to see some of these they have all been posted on my instagram uh, scotty dog crafts if you do want to go and see that and it's hashtag smashing the specials for and it's smashing without a g if you do want to pop uh, and see what everybody else is doing as well although i do warn you i have seen so many that i think oh i like that one and i've not seen that one and oh i could do with one of those so it, it can be a little bit addictive going on there and thinking hmm. as i say i think at the moment i'm buying as many as i'm doing so my stash just isn't going down <laughs> Okay, so uh, you quite possibly saw this. If you didn't, I'll put another picture in as well. Um, I did put this around Millie's neck uh, and she was not impressed. Uh, if you've uh, been with me a while, you will know that uh, Millie, our little Scotty dog, um, hates having anything on from collars to coats to absolutely anything. Uh, so putting this round her neck, she just sat there and glared at me. But she did get plenty of treats afterwards. And this has actually come out a lot better than I was expecting. Because if you remember when I did the unboxing, I was a little bit iffy on the colours. I didn't think maybe that they'd come out as well as they have. But actually this like bronzy brown colour on the paws with the gold really stands out. And I'm really pleased with that. And this, rather than it being black... Is actually like a very dark blue, like a midnight blue colour. And I think it just really makes it stand out that little bit more. And the wood has actually got like a bluey tinge to it in the background as well, which you maybe can or can, yeah, you can, you can sort of get, see here around the edges. It's like being um, shabby sheeped a little bit, shall we say. Uh, and yeah, we've got like bluey edges to it. So it just all blends in. So that will be uh, going up in my hallway. All I've done is put the little bit of um, twine that they'd put with it, hang it up. Uh, just put some little knots in the back there and I'm hanging it that way. I know some people like to have the knots at the front, but I like to have the knots at the back. Just personal choice as to which way around you want to do it. So that was that one. Again, none of these, um, I didn't run out of any drills. So there was plenty left over. And as I say, we'll put the specials away. Well, we'll see how long it takes us to put the gnome together. <laughs> You'll get to see my DIY skills. <laughs> okay, I love these. I absolutely adore these. Uh, really quick little project to do. I'm going to get some more. I just think they're really good fun. Um, little Santa and little Christmas tree, all lovely and blingy. So quick and easy to do. Uh, the star at the top of the tree. Oops, if it'll just focus in. It's a little bit, oh, that's better. It's a little bit going on in the background in there. I've just put a little uh, gem in the middle of the star rather than just having the uh, five little points on the marquees. I did just decide I wanted a little bit of gem in the middle as well. I know it makes it look a bit more like a flower, but anyway, it's my Christmas tree. <laughs> and then, of course, these are these games on the back. Look, these little, little pick one up at a time. There's maze games, so you can just see the little ball bearing sort of here-ish just moving around so yeah 
um well i was thinking actually maybe if you've got them on the christmas tree at christmas christmas day when everybody's sat there and they've had everything to eat sorry i know i'm talking about that and it is only still august but us crafters have to plan these things we have a lot to do <laughs> i thought yeah maybe you could have races you know give everybody one um and just say right whoever gets to the middle wins a mince pie <laughs> whether they want one or not <laughs> okay so that's those so they're a good size as well and they were just so nice to do just quick and easy lovely gems really sparkly i think i've smiled all week doing all these things i just do like my specials and i do just enjoy doing them so much uh then of course we've got our gnome which uh, yeah i only got him recently oops get him in camera look so you can see all of him and i love the uh, marquees around the flower there and these little AB coated like half pearls in the yellow. The only thing I am sad about is that he's not got the B um, on the actual, let me find him. This is our little packet. He's a light up one as well. Um, oh, 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 look, he's got uh, suckered. <laughs> oh no, I thought it got stuck to him then. Yeah, um, it has got little bees on it, look. Just there and down here. Uh, but I suppose it's actually trying to do that on a small canvas like this, a small project like this, uh, would be a little bit difficult because it is only teeny tiny. But I may stick some of my little bees on there, I'll have to see, because I think he needs a bee. Uh, but he has still got his drizzle stick look, his uh, honey drizzle stick, and I love how the uh, pots come out as well. So, yeah, we'll get him made up, she says, famous last words. Now, this is exceptionally useful. Um, if you remember when I got this, I decided I'm going to put this uh, over my bed head so that I can put around my remote control for the television. Because you can guarantee um, Millie, our little Scotty, as I say, part of the family, sleeps where she wants. If you're ever looking for the remote control for our TV in the bedroom, it's always under the dog. <laughs> Wherever it lands on the bed, because you know what you like, you turn the telly over and just put it on the bed. She always just seems to sit on it for whatever reason. I suppose it's because it's close to us. So she's like, oh, well, I'll just lay close to you and then lays on top of the remote control. But I would say nine out of ten times, whenever you're looking for it, it is underneath the dog. <laughs> so I thought if we hang this over the headboard, it has got the little ribbon. I've not tied this yet because I've not decided how long I need it or how I'm going to position it. So I have just got the ribbon um in the top little pocket there handy little pockets you see who doesn't need pockets but he could put some sweets in there couldn't you as well mm. <sighs> yes but uh yeah i thought it was really really handy and a nice size and let's say the remote controls will go in it i love the colors they've come out different to what i was expecting because the color underneath this um because obviously they, they put the color uh, for the code of the gem where you're going to put your gems and I was just thinking it was going to be the colour it was I can't remember what it, it might have been blue actually but actually with that little bit of gold it just sort of brings it all together and this hot pink just on the edges of the pots just so pretty subtle colours so it would go most places and then the middle one just has the like um it's like a champagne gold colour just gem there so it's got all the other colors the same but then it's just in the main middle part right in the center it's just got that one gold pot just to draw your eye a little bit towards the middle but yeah i'm really pleased with that again good and sticky plenty of gems left over and very very pretty but it does need sealing because obviously uh, having it in the bedroom you do get a lot of fluff in the bedroom for whatever reasons uh, and it is still sticky where the glue has been so you will end up with bits of um, fluff and in our case Millie hair stuck to it so yeah I'll give that a good seal as I say uh, I will be doing a video on that that's good and then the two canvases that I've done so they're all from fan cells is my gorgeous little kingfisher for whatever reason when I wrote it down I called it a hummingbird and it took me ages to find the drills when I did this because I'd categorised it hummingbird instead of kingfisher. But it is definitely a kingfisher. But look at the colours on that and the flowers and it just, it's stunning. I love it. I'm a little bit disappointed that it's a white background, if I'm honest. 
um, it's not a totally white background it is actually a slightly different color I don't think you'll really you might do you catch it's just a little bit darker than a stark white color of the edges and you can just see the edge there to cut around if you do want to put it into like I think it's 25 by 25 it says 30 by 30 but as you know um it is the full canvas size but yeah um, have they moved slightly they have they've just moved slightly look you do tend to find sometimes with poured glue as it sort of i don't know as you've got warm weather and cold weather they do seem to decide to start moving about on their own i think it's as they sort of settle but yeah it's very pretty and i'm just so pleased with it it's going to have to go on the wall somewhere, but I've not quite decided where yet. And this is the one look, that had the little flowers on it. Would you expect that when you're doing like a special drill painting that it would have these gorgeous little resin flowers or acrylic flowers just in with it? And I love that there. That colour is just wonderful. So, yeah, very, very pleased with that one. And then one of the latest ones that I've done is this sunflower. And again, I must admit, when I looked at the colours and I thought we're doing sunflowers and it's got pinks and purples, I thought, how's that going to work then? But look, the centre of those flowers, it just works. It just all comes together and looks stunning. And there's so many. All of these blue edging on the leaves are AB coated. That's your Aurora Borealis, uh, which is your iridescent coating that they just put on your normal gems. It does make them sparkle. And then it had the AB yellows in the middle there. And then it also had what I think they're called twinklers. And it's where it's a standard silver, but it's got like more than just an AB coating. It really twinkles really differently. I think I showed you when I unboxed it, the difference between a standard AB and one of the like twinkler ABs. And the colours on that are just... See if it... Let's see if we can get it moving. It's a little bit stiffer canvas, this one, so it might not quite move as I like them to. But yeah, you might just get that little bit of twinkle. Get it. No, we're not just going to catch it today. It is a little bit darker today as well. I keep thinking we're going to get another storm because it is still quite humid here. So yeah, so they'll be going... Well, that one's going to go up somewhere, I'm not sure yet, but it will probably just go in my folder for now to keep it flat. It has still got a little bit of its creases in. Um, and I have thought actually about just getting my hair straighteners out and putting either a damp tea towel just on these bits here. I think you can just, yeah. And just using my hair straighteners, because rather than getting the iron out, I hate the iron. Me and the iron just aren't on friendly terms. Um, <laughs> if anybody loves ironing, they're quite welcome to come to my house. Uh, and just maybe do these bits as well. It's just a bit easier to get into. Uh, the bits. It's just stayed. Sometimes they do, particularly on special drills, because, you know, they're, they've are they come a long way. They're rolled up over the drills. And sometimes the creases just stay in that little bit. I think once it's in a frame, you probably won't see them. But uh, yeah, at the moment, it's all I look at, but that's because I know it's there. I think if somebody didn't know it was there, they maybe wouldn't look twice at it. So that's the two canvases. Okay, we've got the gnome to make up. So I may do him first and get him out the way, because that could be the thing that takes me forever. And I'll try not to use bad language. <laughs> My uh, sign will be going up once it's sealed, as will this little pouch oops my little sticks just dropped out and disappeared down the back of the desk i'll have to retrieve that in a moment so let's uh yeah i'll have a look at the drills in a bit so i'll put those all up there right let's have a look at this so we know that he's going to go that way and it's going to be that way so that he stands okay <sighs> liz with a screwdriver oh my goodness me Right, that's just all my gems and all my bits. So I'll just pop them. Oh, that wants to go over there. Keep them in proper piles, Liz, so that we know what we're doing. Okay. 
Right, I think there probably was instructions on the box and I threw the box away. That was clever, wasn't it? Let me grab a tray and then I'm going to get my little sparkly tray and my little green tray for this one. Because I want to put the bits into the tray and be able to see them. And when you put the clear little pegs, the little screw bits that they give you, into a clear tray, you can't them and see them. Well, I can't anyway. <laughs> I won't take out the foam pad because I don't suppose I'll use that. Okay, so I'll pop that back over there. Right, so we'll take the sticks out because we can see all these. Now then, and then you get all these little like see-through screws which work really, really well with the screwdriver. Uh, if you remember my carousel, actually, I should have brought that uh, into the room with me because you could have seen that. I have finished that. And um, I think it was Chris that asked me about that the other day. Did I ever get it finished? Because if you remember, it had bits missing. And yes, I did get it finished. So I'm going to put these bits on first. So what we need to do is get your screw and just do one at a time and one side at a time. And you can see you've got your little holes. Oops, just get that there so it'll focus. You've got your little holes all the way down, which tells you where to put like your little, well, they're like a little dowel, like a little plastic dowel. And they've got like the little, oh, what's it called? Grooves, I'll call them. I know they've got a proper name. Um, threads? Threads. Hmm, no, maybe that's what's on the thing. So I can just screw that one onto there. And, I mean, if I can put these together, anybody can, to be fair, because DIY is just not my thing. If you could look around our house at the bits of DIY that I've done, nah. Uh, you'd probably look at it and think, I hope you haven't paid somebody to do that, because if you have, you want your money back. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, although they do show a little bit, because they're clear, they do tend to take up the colour from the back a little bit as well, so... They don't show up that much. Okay, so that's that one. There's a lot on this. They're determined to keep this little gnome together. Um, I'm not sure whether they maybe put the lights on first. But I'm, I'm not sure that I want to put the lights on him. I think I quite like him without the lights. Um, yes, yeah, little LED lights. And I keep looking at it thinking, do I want the lights on him? Or am I going to save that? And possibly, uh, in fact, I could even put it around uh, my little pockets, couldn't I? And then I can see what I'm doing because it has got an on-off switch, which will sit inside there as well. So, yeah, I mean, I do tend to mix and match kits and things when I get them. I think it's years of uh, crafting, card making, where I just uh, don't just use one thing for one project. I do tend to uh, move them around on different things. So, yeah. I don't overly tighten them either, just in case I have gone wrong uh, for whatever reason. And I do need to then unscrew <laughs> it all and try again. <laughs> this has got a lot on there. I wonder why they've put so many. Possibly so you can wind the lights around. I do think you will start sort of at the top and possibly wind the lights around inside. But so I'm not going to use the lights. I don't want the lights on my little low. Okay, and it looks like we have got one spare as well. So that's good. We always like spares. They always come in handy for something. Lots of spare screws on this one as well. Yeah, whole pack. You start thinking you've done something wrong though when you've got too many. <laughs> you think, what have I missed? <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Okay, so let's pop that in there. And that one on there. Now, I'm sure you could put the lights on afterwards if you wanted, but I would suggest if you are putting the lights on, that you start and do it now before you then put them together. Because what we're now going to do is line these screws from this side up with the, the uh, holes and the screws at this side. And then it'll all be joined together and it will stand up. Yay! So I don't need that one anymore, so I'm going to put that in there and keep that together 
with those because I say we do like spares and you never know when it might come in handy. Okay, so now we're going to get these little screws and this is possibly where the screwdriver will come in. So we will pop that one on there. Try and keep it lined up as much as possible. And yep, this is where your little screwdriver comes in. Handy little screwdrivers as well. Okay, and just give it a little bit of a tightness. So I never do them too tight because I do tend to go wrong on things and I don't then want to have to keep taking it off. So hopefully once you've got one in, then you can just keep moving. I tend to do the middle ones first because once you've got the middle done, it should pull everything in place to keep the others together. Okay. So, are you excited that I'm doing DIY? <laughs> no, was the cry. <laughs> Welcome to Lizzie's How Not to DIY channel. Thank you for joining me. Today we are uh, putting together a gnome. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so that's sort of the three middle ones done. And see, we'll stand up, so that's okay. So then it's a case now of going down and seeing which holes I've not filled and which ones I have. So, yeah, that one will go there. I think they're really clever how these little things go together. I don't like things like this. I was never good at anything like Meccano. I used to play with Lego a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, I was more into um, building sort of houses for my uh, Cindy dolls, which are like the English version of Barbie. Uh, I used to get cardboard boxes and uh, wallpaper the walls and things and make chairs and things out of other cardboard boxes. So, yeah, I was more into that than playing with Lego. Okay, so I said DIY is not my strong point, but this... Such wood so far isn't going too bad. Yep, just making sure I'm getting them all in the right places. Okay, uh, there are lots of special offers on fan cells at the moment as well. I was looking this morning. I must stop looking. I really must stop looking. Oh, it's a sheer as if that's ever going to happen. Um, because I love seeing what new stuff's coming out and just starting to get. Oh, that's one that's just escaped. Oh, caught it. Yay! Go me. Uh, yeah, there are starting to get lots of new Christmassy stuff in and I love Christmas. So I know there's Halloween next as well, but I've got quite a few Halloween ones already. And I have ordered a custom Halloween one. Uh, my last year's custom one was actually from Fancels. It was uh, my little Maisie Daisy, which was the little Scotty dog we had before Millie. Um, Yeah, I did that as for drills and chills last year. That was my fan cells custom. So, and I actually still have it on the wall. I never took it down after Halloween. I thought, oh no, I like this picture. I'm going to keep it up. Okay, so I think I've got them all. Uh, just check on the back. Oh, well, it will be on the back, won't it? Because <laughs> I put them in first. Oh dear, I told you I was no good at DIY. Yeah, so that's my little gnome. He stands up. So it doesn't look quite as different. When um, I opened him up, if you remember, it was quite pale colours on this side and a very tanned gnome on this side. But actually now I've got him drilled, it does look pretty much the same. So really pleased with that. Really nice. Good little, uh, well, I suppose you could use it for Halloween or all year round, really. It's, yeah, because it is a jam, uh, a jam pot. It's honey pot. It's honeybees, which is why he's all black and amber. So that's him done. So I'll just pop these. We've got two little screws left in there. So I'll put those into this little bag as well. I'm starting to get quite a few spares at the moment. of little bits and pieces, which is good. And my little screwdriver, which is very, very handy little tools are those. Okay, uh, I'll keep that out for now because I will be putting those away. Put my screwdriver in my drawer. Now then, what did we have in this one? Because I now need to start sorting out my drills to put away. So we've got silvers that can go in my silver jar. Uh, that's some marquees. These are just these standard gems, which 
will just go in my standard gems. That's a special. So I'm just getting my colours sorted. So take that out of there. That will go into my log book. Okay, and I'll, I'll put that in there for now. Keep that together with that so I know where they came from. Okay, uh, will this sticker come off? No, it's not going to. Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, I'll keep all those bits in there together then. Because I like to put the stickers in my lab book as well. Okay, so that's that one out of the way. Right, so they want to go in there. And if I've got any they're black ones as well. I think I've got my black in there. So they're just the colours. So let's then have a look. This one was the Christmas decorations, which was these two little chaps here. Loads of colours on this. I couldn't believe how many different ones I got. And loads left over. Which I do like my spares. Now that I'm getting them all organised, I think these were all just standard rounds. So that's my silver again. Oh no, we've got the marquees there. That's an AB. That's a gold... Sorry, I'm doing this, aren't I? And you can't see them. That's just a standard black. I'll pull those out. So, yeah, they're just all standard gems as well. And I want that sticker. Okay, I must get my logbook up to date because it's not up to date at all at the moment. This is from my little pockets. This is the gems left over from the pockets. Okay. So, that was number one. So, that's pockets. I'll put all these together in here so that I know they all need to go in my logbook. Sorry, crinkle, crinkle. So that's silver again. Oh, hot pink and that's black. So that's just the standards. And let's put all the standards in here for now. So we can keep all those together. Now then, this one was the... Sunflower. Oh, this was the sunflower picture, which is gradually escaping off my desk over there at the moment. And this had the sparklers and it had uh, all the ABs in. Look at those. Got loads left. Blue and yellow there. And then that's so that you can see the difference. I know they're not AB coated, but you can really see the difference between just the standard sparkles and the sparkler sparklers <laughs> um so that's the standard one and that's a little bit larger one keep that one out as well i'm not sure whether i've got a bag for those so we just had two standards there and the actual gems okay and we'll keep that packet there with the label on right and let's see what else we've got this one was from the Hummingbird. Oh, there should be a lot left over from this. It's not a Hummingbird. I've just said Hummingbird again. It's a Kingfisher, Liz. It is a Kingfisher. <laughs> it's going balmy, I tell you. If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. What can I say? Right, so we want that label with those and put that in there. So that's our standard silvers again there. We've got some more silver marquees. We've got some gold marquees. Look at those. Oh, wow, big ones. And some more deer ups there. So that's a standard. That's an ordinary. That's a different one. Oh, look at they've got quite a few of those little flowers left as well. You can just see the little roses left there. So these are just the standard gems. That's the black one, so we'll keep those out. Standard, 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 and then little pearly teardrops. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? There's the bag there. Oh dear. Put those into there. Okay. And then. Right, these are the ones left over from the sign, the ball print sign. Uh, that's like the 
purpley colour of the pores look, which I didn't really expect to come out as well as it did. And then that's that gorgeous blue colour that all the letters were done in. And I just love it. I just thought those colours. Didn't think that they'd look as good as they do, but obviously leave it to the experts. They know what they're doing. And that's how well they came out. So that's my gems to put away. That's that one to go in there. So that's my logbook to get updated. So now I want my specials. So let me just move. Do I like him? Stand him on my desk. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just move those out of the way a moment. I have been looking at bigger desks because I think I do need a bigger desk. I need something sort of at the side, you know, sort of over here to put just that little bit extra. The thing is that I'm frightened that if I get a bigger desk because I've got extra, I'll then want more. And uh, yeah, I could really do with the desks that I had uh, when I was doing my card making now. I turned my craft room back into a bedroom um, and got rid of a lot of stuff. And now with doing this and doing YouTube, I don't feel as I could do with it all back again. <laughs> it's like, oh, silly me, why did I get rid of it? Shouldn't have done it. Right, I, I am just putting these back uh, sorry, putting them into my clear crystal jar, which has my homemade Scotty and uh, little heart stickers on there. They are actually glow in the dark because uh, I've got so many of these crystals. I just thought they'd look quite pretty up in a jar. So I do like to keep everything. What can I say? I was a magpie in a former life because I just like anything sparkly. And I'm always collecting gems, particularly sparkly gems, right? I think that's all the sparkles. Okay. There you are. What am I doing? Putting the label back in there now. Now I've put everything on top of my bin. I can't put, use my bin. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. It's only... Uh, the, well, I dread to think how many kitting downs I've done and I'm still not organised, am I? <laughs> right, so let's look at these. Uh, I've got black, 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 so I'll put those over there for now. I've got A, B's, A, are they A, B's? Yeah, they are, they're white A, B's. They're the black crystals with the silver backing. I can never remember where I've put them. Have I put them in here? Oh, I've got some gems to put away there. Look, let me have a look at these. Why have I not put these away then? Where are these from? Oh. Oh, okay. I've just found some more gems to put away. Oh, well, we'll put those away with these. I must have put them in a safe place and thought I'll look at those later. And later's turned up and I better do them. <laughs> some more there. Okay. Right, that's my... Are they silver? No, they're silver with a black background. Okay, and there's some more. How peculiar. What have I been doing? Okay. Obviously not doing my job properly, was the cry. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be organised and not being organised. Oh, so what are these then? Um, that's, that's my nice bags ah right these are all rare diamonds um and how they categorize their crystals so actually they want to go into uh, the crystals and then i've got some they look like they're ecru and they look like small white pearls so, well they want to go in the whites then and i might keep those in the whites as well but, oh, look. Ah, right. <laughs> That's my, I must get those sorted out and put away bag. Look, all the ones, you know, that you drop and you find on the floor at a later date. Uh, yeah, whether I'll ever actually do that, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, that's all my odds and ends. So I will keep those there. Okay. And I'll put those into my crystals. So I wonder if they're DMC numbers then. I bet they are. Say so they were from Rhode Diamonds and they're black. But it won't be 3799, will it? Okay, I'm going to put those in with my crystals. Right. So I'll look at those later. Okay. 
so I've just found extras to the, what I thought I was doing. Yeah, I think they're... Yeah, they're silver with a black background, so they want to go into the silvers. Um, on my storage, I've got all my Craft Buddy ones that have got numbers on at that side. That's Craft Buddy Crystal Art, which is a UK company. And then any that don't match in with those at the moment are going into... Um, well, they're categorised as rounds, marquees, teardrops and miscellaneous for each colour. So let me just put these in silver. And they are, well, they're not large rounds, but I'll put them in large rounds for now. Um, I'm not quite sure why I've got these out. I'll put those, oh, there's two different sizes in there as well. Oh, that's maybe why I've got them out, because there's the white they're like a half pearl but there's no facets on them so that's why i've done those so let me just put those in white for now now then where is white is white after silver or is white before silver white is before silver so we'll put those in there for now and i think i've got some ab's in there as well oh i've really muddled those up Right, I'll have to look at that one later as well. Oh dear. Right, so that's orange. They're the ABs. That's a marquee. That's a marquee. That's a silver round. Let me just move that out of the way. That's a black round. That's another marquee there. That's another round. Oh, rounds. Teardrops, marquees, sparklers. We'll put those there as well. Uh, we're back on large rounds again. Ooh, there's a lot to put away here. That's another large round, but they're miscellaneous ones, so I'll put those over there for now they're the large round pearls they're pink pearls they're oh like a, a bluey color they're like a purpley color round so round 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 teardrops markies teardrops they're teardrops or are they marquees? They're teardrops, they're marquees, and they're large rounds. Okay, so these are all the rounds. So on Craft Buddy, then I always look at the Craft Buddy ones first, and they are categorised, sorry, they are a lettered, catalogued, catalogued, it is catalogued as a Y. So we need to look through these Ys, these rounds, and see if we've got any of these colours. So let's have a look. Uh, see that? I see there uh, they've got an AB coating and they haven't but then if you put the AB coating against the twinklers it's like they've got a double coating and you can see it makes the uh, actual AB coating look really plain <laughs> okay all oh, right and they're my blues that I've got to sort out that uh, I've managed to put into all the same bag right and then i've got two colors that the lovely chris sent me as well so i think they're those and they're a different color so we've not got that one we've not got the large golds blues 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 reds greens purples blue oh, all of those golds red red gold blue pink can't hold all these let me put those back in there okay they've all got numbers on them as well so that i know how where i am so it doesn't look like we've got any of those no right so that's the rounds looked at so now we need to um Look at the teardrops and the marquees. Let me just see if any of these are... No, they can be opened up and put into that little bag there with those. Now, 
these are the spare some of the spare ones that Chris sent me of her crystals. Okay. I've got my bin covered over at the minute, so I can't do that. Right, so let's look at teardrops. I've only got three teardrops. And they are, I think, an S. I think they call the teardrops S for Craft Buddy. So let's have a look in the S's. S, 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 S. Um, S. And now I've got those in the smaller. They're a different gold. Nope, so I've not got any of those. And then the marquees are M's, which makes sense. And let's find the M, M, M's. And G. And that's an M. Okay. Right, so. We've got like those gold rope ones, little rope, um gold ones large pink and those so no that's a different pink that's a different color yeah that's a different oh are they them they could be them yep they're those so i've actually got one that i can do so i'll put that there for now blue pink more blue and that's those. So we've just got the one. That's not very good. We've just got one that we can actually put away with a number. That's a shame. But eventually, as I do more, and I'm constantly getting more, I'll be able to do this. Okay. So that's M24. That's that one. So now what I need to put them into colour order because now I've got to look through on colours. Oh, heck, this is going to take some doing right. So silver, silver, silver rounds. Uh, I don't know about that one. That's like I might put... See, they're like a grey colour. So do I put them in silver or do I put them in black? I think I might put them in black. So that's those. They're pink, they're purple, they're purple. That's gold, that's silver. So I've got three lots of silver there. That's white, goes with white there. That's blue. That's yellow, we definitely have yellows. That's that one, that's pink, that's gold there. That's silvers again over here. Uh, now then, do I put those with purple? Yeah, I think I'll put those with purple. And then these are white and yellow and silver. Okay. So let's have a look in the silvers. Oh, no, let's look in the whites first because white is the first one we've got. And where have I just put the whites? Oh, that's an AB. Right, so we've got round pearls, teardrops, and then just that special drill there. Okay, so white rounds, and these are also creams as well. So we're looking for this larger round there, cream. Yeah, that's the one that I've just put in. That's a larger one. Is that that one? Or is it that one? No, it's not that one. So, I think it is sort of got a coating. Let me have a look. I think it's that one. I think they're too small. Yeah, we're going to put it in that one. Okay. So we we'll need those in. Mm, need those in a different bag. Right. So let's get these into here. And let's see where we are from there. I hope everybody's doing okay. I've not asked you how I how you're all doing, but uh, yeah, just moaning about our weather. But it is a, an English obsession. Sorry, a British obsession. <laughs> 
can't talk about the weather. Yeah, I've got some cream in there as well. I think I decided that I didn't uh, want to separate them out. So, yeah, they're definitely not faceted. They're just like a, a round, half round. So I want a bag for those. A little bit of card out. Oh, I've got static in these. Booking Broncos. I could have some trying to escape. Go on. Keep the uh, edges of the bags together so they don't get out. Come on, get out. Oh, 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 we've got an odd piece there. Look, we've got a large piece of plastic there. Go on, last one. Go on, get out. Oh, there's last two. Oh, there's always an awkward one. Right, I'll get in a minute. So I'll put those there. Okay that back into there for now because that's my little bits of card on my bags that aren't quite as stiff um just to keep them upright so that they don't slide underneath on things and then i want some teardrops in the round pearls and then that one i don't think i've got that one so let's have a look we've got marquees teardrops in white have we got any i think we have got the teardrops have a look Yes, we have those. So that's another one we can get rid of. Okay. That's the bags with the numbers on as well. I don't like the bags with the numbers on. I don't think I've got that one. No, so that one will need its own bag. Okay, that's like a flowery type one. Oh, I've missed a teardrop off. Look, there's the bigger teardrops as well. So, yeah, they're the ones I've got in miscellaneous. But, like ones with little stars on. I love those snowflakes. I really love those snowflakes. So, that's my white miscellaneous. Let's go back to teardrops again. And around. All right, I'm not missing. Do you know that one? Right, just pop those teardrops away in there. Okay, so now we're on to silver. So we've got three sizes in rounds. Uh, sorry, four. Oh, well, I might have them in miscellaneous, I'll have to see. And then the marquee. So silver comes after white. And we want the round ones out. So let's have a look. That's the silver with the black backs. That's the small silver. Is that the medium silver? And they're like an AB coated and they're not. So are those and those are those. Okay, so that's the large one. So let's get these put away first. Okay, we had a lot of these left over. So very generous fan souls. Uh, gems they seem to have been on these anyway i seem to have a lot left over and you know me i don't like my spurs okay let's get these put in here right okay that's that one and then that's that one And then I've got to decide which special drill one I'm going to do next. I, don't, I think I might do a canvas again because uh, I do like doing the canvases, doing the pictures. I just like seeing them all come together. All right, so let me just have a look and see in the miscellaneous what I've got. Oh, I haven't got any miscellaneous on silver. So that's another bag. Okay. And then I just need to look in the marquees. I'm sure I've got that one because it is quite a popular one to uh, quite a few of the different ones. So, yeah, I'm putting those as a miscellaneous because they're the ones with the star stamped on the top. We've just got like a little star there. Okay. So let's have a look in the marquees. And is it the bigger one? It is the bigger one, so it's that one. Okay. Right. 
that's those. Okay, so three sizes of marking in silver. Right, so what shall we do next? Gold next. Not got many golds. So we've got that ropey one, which I know we've got. And then we've got little small ones in marquees. So gold, there was no rounds. But we have got the ropey one, which is there, look. Is that round? Oh no, that's round. That's not the ropey one. <laughs> oh dear. Right, yep, that's that one. So have we got the teeny tiny one? And I think that's that colour. Let's just double check. Or is it that colour? No, it's that colour. That's a lot paler. So I'll put those back. And then I just need to look in the teardrops. Oh, nice shapes. Okay. Yeah, I've been looking at new desks. I've seen like an L-shaped one because I think I could actually fit an L-shape into this bedroom and it would just give me that little bit extra and I've seen one that's got like a shelf as well so I could possibly put my um, drill storage, these boxes, onto that shelf and then that gives me room on my other shelves to put uh, stuff rather than have the uh, boxes taking up the room so... Yeah, watch this space. This craft room is going to have a big makeover. It just seems to be having the time to sort of move away from hubby at the minute. Just, uh, he tends to drop asleep and he gets really frightened if he wakes up and he's on his own. He tends to pack because he quite often doesn't realise where he is. Um, and it will be frightening and I thoroughly understand that. So. And we've not had any hospital appointments this week. He's had a couple of telephone uh, calls about various things. Uh, but we are there on Saturday, so we're at the hospital on Saturday morning. <laughs> okay, right, so what are we looking at next? That's hot pink and purple. So we've not got any reds, so I think is that one. What colour? Orange. No, we've not got any orange. I think we went gold orange yeah so then that's red and then we're pink next so let's look at pink rounds okay oh are they those they are didn't know i had those okay so now we're looking like a i don't know if that's going to be more purpley we'll look in the pinks and see what we've got in the pinks uh, is that that sort of color or is that more hmm no, it's definitely more purpley, that colour. So these are all the pinks. Hot oh, pink. <laughs> so let's put those away in large rounds. Large round, large round, large round. Okay. So, oh, we need to put those in there, don't we? Put these away as we go along, Liz. Don't miss any. So that's large rounds, and then we want to be in purple. So that's that's green. That's purple. So large rounds in purple. Okay. So oh, that could be that one. Yes, that's that one. So we can match that one up. Is that that one? That's that one. So we've just got that like pinky purple that we haven't got. So that's large rounds there. So we just need one bag for there. That's good. Oh, we missed the big pink ones out there, but I don't think we had any of those. So I'll have to double check. Okay. That's the bag for itself. Okay. And then these want to go in here. These again are from the lovely Chris. She knows how I like all my different gems. Okay, that's that one. And then 
That's that one. Oh, these are some going down, aren't they? These are some going down. Right, I've got a lot of mess on my desk though. <laughs> and then what we're we looking at, let's just go back to those pink marquees. So that's teardrops, so that's marquees. And no, we've not got that large pink, so we want a new bag for large pink. Very pretty. I like the pretty ones. Okay, I think our post has just arrived. So that will be oh, we rifling through it. Um, we've got the windows open at the front at the moment because it is still quite hot. Uh, as I say, it's humid, even though we've not got the sun out. It's not the temperatures it were. The humidity is quite high, so we've got the windows open. So the postman tends to pass everything through to hubby. <laughs> so blue, we're now looking at teardrops in blue. That's marquees, that's teardrops. And yeah, there's definitely not any of those large ones. We've got some... Uh, just trying to keep that out. I've got some in that size, but oh, I don't know though. They have. I don't know they are those. So it's a good job I looked. So these go into this bag. I wonder if I'll ever get to a point where I've got every single one. Or do you think they'll just keep bringing out more and more anyway? So you'll never actually get to having everyone a bag for everyone. Mind you, I'd probably need a lot bigger shelf, never mind a new shelf. And then the yellows. I've got another yellow look. I don't have many in the yellows. So I think the yellows right at the back. And the large rounds, which are these. And they're a little bit darker, but I think I've put them all in together anyway. Because I don't have many yellows. And then they will just need... I don't know whether they're orange or yellow, really. They're sort of a, a bit between. But I know I've not got any. So I'll put them in yellows for now. So yellow, yellow, yellow. So I don't need to sort this out. It is so full. It's just too full and it's just pushing everything out. And I'm going to end up losing things if I don't do it. Teardrops and then miscellaneous in yellow. I've not got any, so I'm going to maybe put these in the yellows. Or shall I put them in the oranges? Do you think they're more orange? I think they are maybe more orange. Is that the oranges? That's orange. Where's miscellaneous orange? Yeah, I've not got miscellaneous. Oh, now I'm putting it next to orange. Look, I'm thinking they are more yellow. Oh. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I'll put them in. Uh, where should I put them? Where should I put them? I'll probably not remember where I've put them anyway. I'll put them in oranges for now. So that's all of those done. So now it's just my A, B's. Oh, I did all my blacks. Right, so I've just got black to do. Round. So I've got two black rounds. Ah, right, there you are. Look, that's my bag of uh, blacks. So they can go in there. They're a smaller version of that one. And that's that one. So they can go in there. stair lift coming upstairs so I think we're just going to be finishing this just at about the right time and that's the large rounds there and then they need to go in here this is getting a bit full now look I'm gonna have to uh, start getting rid of a few of these I'll start a new bag 
that's large rounds so they're not large rounds but that's them so that's those done so then i just want my abs in the rounds so i've got yellow and i don't believe that is that yellow so let's just put a tray underneath so let's get this uh, put away in here Although, so wow, we're getting a lovely collection of ABs now. This is my art box storage that I just like to keep my ABs in here because I like looking at them. And I think that's that colour. It's definitely not that colour. So I've now got two of these as well. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with all those, I'm sure. But I'm sure I'll use them at some point. I do keep you know using little bits and pieces um but i do like to just look at them as well sometimes just open the drawer and look at the colors <laughs> oh dear so i do think that uh, diamond paint is, is as much about collecting as it is about actually the physical art of putting uh, little gems on they are abs yes they are so i've just got i've now got five little pots of white abs but I have got Christmas coming up and sorry I know I keep going on about Christmas but I do like to get prepared and in the card making world they actually start selling the stuff in June so you do tend to find that so you start thinking about it earlier and earlier and I do sometimes like the run up to Christmas better than I actually like Christmas or think. <laughs> oh they're ones why have I got those in there they want to go back in there. They're what I've been using. They're what I used um, when I was doing my Love You to the Moon and Back sign. Right, are these all blacks? They are, so let me keep those out because I've got a big bag of black. They're 3371. They're 939. They're 823. Yeah, these are all my spares, which again I need to sort out. Uh, I was just thinking, I thought I had some of these sparkly ones, but not quite sure what I've done with them so I'm going to keep those in there for now and I will put them in a better bag actually I'll put them in this bag okay, put them in there so that they're in one of the better bags and then I've got them so these are just again from my little storage drawers i'm going to put those in there as well because i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with those whether i sit and pick all the abs out or not and those are the blues that i've got to sit and sort oh dear that's going to take some doing <laughs> okay let's just put those silver ones back in here so i don't lose them Oops. helps if you put them in the silver rather than the white all right actually i'm going to put those back put those in that bag and i'm going to put these back away for now so that if i'm looking for them i'm not having to go hunting they are all in the same place and then at some point i will sit and pick all those out well, then again, I maybe won't. <laughs> you never know. Oh, dear. All right. It's one of those sort of jobs that uh, you could maybe sit and do on an evening. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just pop all those over there for now. Pop those away. Right, well, I hope he's still with me. Uh, and we have uh, sorted all these out now. So I've just got the ceiling off them to do. So watch this space. I will be doing that ceiling video. Uh, well, that's uh, some of my special drills done. All from Fansels. So thank you, Fansels. I love them. Right, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, don't forget, this is the last day for the uh, gnome giveaway. So you need to be looking to see where I mentioned about the gnome giveaway if you're wanting to take part. Friday the 19th is my last day for the gnome giveaway. 
if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see the ceiling video, if you press that subscribe button, oops, just on here in this corner and the old notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.